Welcome back on this Thursday morning, 546 right now, and it may not seem like it weather-wise, but hockey season is here. That's right. The Madison Capitals are sharpening their skates for the home opener tomorrow. They begin their second season at the Coliseum in downtown Madison. With us today is Troy Ward. Good morning. Good morning. So what are you guys doing new this, this season? Well, it's obviously year two for the Madison Capitals back uh, after a layoff in the city, so we're excited. I mean, what's different is obviously we're just a year older. Uh, we're a year more mature as a group of hockey players, and uh, obviously I'm a new coach, but we'll just look to take this team a step further than we did a year ago. Coach, one of the great things about this kind of a team is that there is always a Wisconsin connection. you got a lot of Wisconsin players this year, don't you? Yeah, we do. We, we've, we've always felt it's important uh, as we came back in here as a group of owners and, and now coaches as we go through this process together to have a local feeling of not only kids from around the Madison area but throughout the state. We've got that again this year and we're excited. Quite a few of those players are returning. We've got some new Wisconsin additions as well. Coach, what do you hope to focus on this year? I mean, what do you hope that, your, uh, that the teammates hope to focus on? Well, I think, you know, last year as an expansion team in the USHL, I thought the, the team did a wonderful job under Luke Strand the first year. And, and now this year, we've got to take that a step further. The things that have to take place for this particular team is just probably the consistency. They had some real great streaks last year, and then they had some streaks they weren't so proud of. And sometimes that's indicative of the schedule. You're dealing with 16 to 20-year-old kids. You've got like eight kids on this particular team that are in high school. So you're going to have the ebb and flow of just their age bracket. But in general, we have to be a more consistent team than we were probably a year ago here. So this is a uh, coach, a tier one junior league. But for folks out there who don't necessarily know what that means, quality of hockey wise, describe kind of the pace of play and, and how good are these players right now? Well, these players, uh, great question. These players are very good. I mean, probably 75% of our players here already have scholarships to a Division I program. And so you're talking about the top 16 to 20-year-old kids in the U.S. Uh, we have four imports, so every year, every team in the USHL that comes in here, fans can watch other players from other countries play at a maximum of four on every team. And in general, it's a, it's a younger league, meaning we've got eight high school kids, so you're talking about kids that have left their areas where they've grown up with their family and they've moved to different areas. And right now, they're players that are just uh, trying to go eventually through the college program, but a lot of these kids all have dreams of playing in the NHL. Coach, real quickly, kind of one of the great things about this kind of a team is that the players live with home in homes in the community, right? I mean, this can't happen without community support. Yeah, very much uh, supported by our local community, and, and they've been tremendous uh, from a fan sports pr perspective a year ago and from the billets. Every player that comes into our city, unless he's a local product like a Charlie Parker or somebody like that in town, you know, Cole Holtz, kids like that are from here. They're living with their families. Every other player is billeted with a local family. Uh, they kind of uh, adopt them, so to speak. Uh, they will grow with them probably for, for a lifetime because obviously they took good care of those kids while they're here. And, and then their parents come down and they all bond and it's kind of a life experience. So it's, it's pretty neat. It's like having a foreign exchange student <laughs> if you were in just general public school. All right, the Madison Capitals home opener is this Friday, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Coach Troy Ward in his first year coaching the Capitals. Thanks so much, Coach. We appreciate your time. You're welcome. Thank you. The ice is being prepped and the skates are being sharpened. Hockey is returning to Madison. Madison Capitals open their second season at home tomorrow night at the Coliseum in Madison, connected to the Alliant Energy Center. If you want to know what to expect here to tell us, Ryan Smith, the Capitals Director of Broadcasting and Media Relations. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. We had a chance to talk to Coach Ward in the last half hour a little bit about the team, but I wanted to ask you specifically about the fans. So for fans who are coming out to the, uh, to the games this year, what's new out there for them? Well, I think the better question to ask there is what isn't new. Anyone who came to our games last year will see a lot of different things this year, but a lot of things in a good way. For example, we're going to have a new curtaining system up in this place because anyone who's been to the Coliseum knows just how big it is. As uh, you'll see just over to our left a little bit, the, uh, a little bit of what that'll look like. That'll circle pretty much the entire rink and that'll cut our capacity down from originally a rink that holds about 10,000 to closer to the 3,500 to 4,000 range, which for this league is an ideal number of fans and that's our target attendance and that's about what we hit a year ago as well. So that just makes it a much, much better atmosphere for everybody involved. We'll force all the fans to sort of uh, come together and force them to get to know your neighbor a little bit better and should be a whole lot of fun for them in that front. 
Were you hearing, Ryan, that people felt a little kind of displaced from the action because the, the stadiums, the arena is so big? I think the biggest thing was it just, it's tough to sort of emphasize just how many fans we had here because it's such a big rink and people have different pockets that they enjoy more so at this rink than others. Some people like being up high, some people like being right down on the glass. So it just sort of spread them out a little bit more. And we think that when they're all, all a little more uh, jumbled up among each other, it'll make it a louder atmosphere. Get to make some friends when you're at the game and uh, hopefully make the opposing goaltender's life miserable. <laughs> And Ryan, how long did it take to prep this venue for the upcoming games? Oh, we're still, we still have preparations going. It's been pretty much a 24-7 week for us this week, getting everything we can up from a signage perspective. The ice is being finished flooding this morning, so everything's just sort of all hands on deck. We have a pretty quick turnaround after the World Dairy Expo leaves the Coliseum, so it's uh, something we're used to. Year two, we had a little bit more preparation for what to expect this time around, whereas last year, everything was so new and just sort of something we had to learn ourselves, and by tomorrow night, it'll be rocking and rolling and ready to go. Hey, Ryan, I've got about a half a minute left, but I wanted to ask you about the connection to local Wisconsin players, because part of this league is always that local collection for people who have followed hockey here in the area. They're going to get a chance to see some familiar names out there, right? Yeah, absolutely. We got Charlie Parker from Verona, Cole Holtz from Stoughton, just to name a couple. I believe there's a total of eight from Wisconsin overall on this team, couple from the Green Bay area as well. And just great hockey talent from the whole state of Wisconsin and really throughout the U.S. and Europe on our particular squad. So it's a great mix and people should be really excited to see them. All right, Ryan Smith with the Madison Capitals. They start their season tomorrow night, home opener tomorrow night, 7 o'clock against Green Bay, I believe. Ryan, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. I appreciate it as well. Thanks for having me. Eddie has been talking about warmer temperatures that are coming this weekend, even a high near 80 on mm -hmm. Sunday. This morning, though, we are heading to the cold of the Coliseum. The Madison Capitals take the ice tomorrow night in their second season home opener against the Green Bay Gamblers. Head coach and general manager Troy G. Ward is up early with us this morning with a look at what's new. Good morning, Troy. Good morning. So, Coach, we just heard from Ryan in the last half hour about how the new uh, uh, curtains around the state of the arena there will make it feel a little more personable, I guess, if you can. What kind of an impact does that have on players and coaches down on the ice? Well, it has a lot to do with the atmosphere for a player. I mean, the tighter the crowd is, meaning with the curtains this year here versus the upper deck kind of wide open last year here, it just gives for a more intimate uh, feeling, I think, for A, the fan and certainly the player because it just pushes everybody down closer to the ice and obviously any player playing the game of hockey just loves the excitement of the crowd. What's something new we can expect this year, Troy? Well, I think, you know, in terms of just our play, I mean, we've just, uh, we've got a lot of guys that are back from a year ago. We should be a year more, uh, you know, into the systems that we play here, a little bit more mature. Obviously, these kids are all 16 to 20 years old. Uh, things are settling in for them as they mature through this process of playing in the USHL. So you'd like to say that hopefully this group will be more consistent and had a very good first inaugural season in Madison again. Uh, but again, like, we got to take it a step further. So you're integrating there are eight Wisconsin kids that are on this team this year. There are also some foreigners that are coming to play on the team. How does everybody blend together pretty quickly? Well, hockey is a real close-knit group, uh, regardless of where you're from and, and your background. They, they usually come together. I mean, the common bond that we share is that these guys like to compete uh, at a young age. They're, they're athletes that are very, very much uh, kind of ahead of the curve, if you would, for most kids their age. So, you know, with the billet situation here in town, with just the competitive nature, I think, of the USHL, the fact that we're together so much, whether it be via bus or here in the community of Madison, like the guys get together really well and, and they gel. And one of the things that happens during this whole time is that they, they go through the process of becoming college players. And they talk about the different experiences and their visits to different universities, and, and that brings them close as well. You talked about the, the college connection, the competitive nature of the US, USHL. The kids who are on your team, the young men who are on their team, on your team, actually a lot of them are D1 college players, right? Or going to be at least. Correct. Yeah, we've already got probably about 70% of this year's team is committed to a U.S. college, and is going to go Division One, and it, that just depends on when the college says that they're ready to go. So. We as an organization, we're prepared to lose guys every year, and we just kind of go through our draft process and bring new players in. And, but in today's game, a lot of players come to Madison already having a scholarship at this point in time.
Coach, really quickly, it's got to be nice for you to come back to Madison. You coached at UW for a number of years. Yeah, it's great to be back home. I call this my second home, and it's been uh, just wonderful to be back and be a part of the fabric of the community. Uh, it was always a great place, you know, when I was here with the Badgers and worked with Mike Eves and his, and his staff, and it's just nice to be home, and it's nice to be back around the, the Midwest. All right, Coach Troy G. Ward, the head coach and general manager of the Madison Capitals, the home opener tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, the Veterans Memorial Coliseum, madcapshockey.com for more information. Coach, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks very much.